Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup for Thanksgiving. This is the look that I'm gonna wear on Thanksgiving. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the look that I'm gonna do, cause I love Thanksgiving. It is one of my favorite holidays. I don't know if I have a favorite holiday, but I love Thanksgiving. It's awesome. We get to eat great food and it's exciting. So. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, before we get into it, make sure that you've subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Um, make sure that you that you go ahead and <laughs> make sure that you <laughs> make sure that you go ahead and um, ring the bell so that you can be notified when we upload videos. Um, make sure you're following me on social media if you're not already. That will be popping up right here below me. You can follow me on social media platforms there. Let's get into it. So first I'm gonna address this mountain on the side of my face. It's red because I just put moisturizer on and so when I rub over it, my skin gets really red. Literally just like my skin just, it's, it's a little prone to redness. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and prime and then we're gonna conceal the heck out of that thing. So I'm gonna prep my skin. First I'm gonna go in with, um, I just have a mini of the uh, Tatcha, the silk canvas that I'm trying to finish up. Look, doing so well. So I'm just gonna prime. This is just gonna blur my skin a bit and just really get it ready for makeup so that um, these places that I have more texture that I'm applying it to, the foundation and the rest of the makeup just goes over it a little bit better. So now after applying that primer, we are gonna start pumping up the glow. What is my deal with I don't know if I'm trying to be like a cool kid. I don't know. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flaws filter that the label is pretty much rubbed off at this point. Um, this is the shade two in case you're wondering. I'm just gonna use this everywhere. Why? Because I really like to be glowy as you guys know. And I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna just blend in with my foundation. So for foundation um, today, I wanted to do something that's long wearing. I don't want to do too medium or full coverage. I want to stay more on the light medium side um, just because that's my comfort. That's like my favorite level of coverage. Um, so we are going to be mixing my MAC face and body with my Mood Sticks tinted cover. Let me pull up my sleeves before I get makeup on my nice Thanksgiving sweater. Do you guys have, like, for me, and I think my, and definitely like my sister too, there's a sweater that, I don't know, maybe this is just me. Peyton probably doesn't do that. I don't know. Is it just me? Or do you guys have, like, a sweater, a top, something specific? It's not necessarily my whole outfit for me. It's usually a sweater or a top that I'm like, that's my Thanksgiving sweater this year. That's my Thanksgiving top this year. That's the one. That's what it's for. I'm buying it for this purpose. And I'll wear it after that, obviously, but it's for Thanksgiving. Is that just me? Or am I not alone in this? If, if, if you guys do that too, let me know down in the comments because whatever, I, I could just be crazy, it's fine. So let me go ahead and mix this little concoction up. Um, and I'm actually gonna go in with a flat foundation brush and I'm just gonna start applying it with this. And I'm, as you can see, I'm blending in the um, Charlotte Tilbury filter as I apply. So I've got an initial layer down of the foundation and it's not like well blended or anything. It's just spread as evenly. And I could blend my whole foundation in with this brush, absolutely. And for that, I recommend going in with very small amounts to blend it out slowly with this kind of brush. But I definitely prefer applying a thin layer and then going over with my sponge. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna start with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this in. And I'm gonna go in with my sponge and add some more. So we've built that up to a nice light medium coverage. I am gonna go ahead and work on concealing this mountain over here. So I'm just gonna take my concealer, put a little dot on it and I'm gonna take a small little concealer brush and I'm just gonna tap this just in a very small little circle. And I'm not gonna fully blend it yet. I'm just gonna leave it like that um, to let it dry down a bit because when you let it dry down, it gains more coverage. So, and that way it won't slip around as easily once I really set it on there. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and prime while I 
before I tell you what we're doing. And uh, if you care, I'm using the uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion. It feels like I've been close to being done with this thing for like a while. And we're still here, powering through it, so. Now you guys can really see my complexion is even better, definitely, so. You guys can take a look. You can definitely see, you know, my little freckles through my foundation. So it's definitely a nice light, maybe light medium coverage on the very center of my face, but you can still see all my little imperfections, which that's what I like. So for eyes, I'm super excited because I'm gonna use that olive that I mentioned in my last video. Was that my last video? It was my last video. This is the Bronzy Glam Glam Quad by Mario. Um, these came out for holiday. If you didn't know about it, you should because it was my last video, which means you didn't watch my last video and I don't know why you wouldn't do that. So you should go watch it right now because I'm gonna put it in a little eye card right above me. You should click on it and go watch it right now in the middle of this video if you haven't seen that yet. So you should go ahead and catch up and then come back and then you'll be caught up and then we'll be all here together. So assuming that you've paused, gone back, watch that if you haven't and you're here and you're caught up and you know what we're talking about here. So this quad, y'all, I'm shook. I love this thing so much. So I'm really excited. I really wanted to use this olive on my eye today for my Thanksgiving makeup. So um, before we get into that quad, because there is only one matte in here and it is a little deep for my skin tone as a transition shade. So I wanna build up the mattes a little bit more before we get into this. I will definitely use this matte and then use this olive all over my lid and probably this champagne in my inner corner. It's gonna be great. I'm excited about it. But um, so for the other mattes, I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona palette that I made. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. If I have, sorry, but the packaging is the Natasha Anona um, Biba palette, which I loved so much. And um, there were some shades in there that I didn't use a lot. So I took the shades from the five pan um, Natasha Denona camel palette, which I love. If I had to only use one eyeshadow thing, eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona, forever, it would be the Camel Palette, the five pan palette, perfection. Natasha and Nona palettes have these little holes in the back so that you can easily put a little pen through and pop the pans out because they're magnetic. And so I popped them all out and popped out the ones from the Camel Palette and put together my perfect palette. And honestly, yeah, this is very, very, very close to my perfect palette. I'd say it's Pretty much my perfect palette, unless I could literally make a palette myself. This is my perfect palette. But this is what I'm gonna be using for um, the transitional shades until we get to that deeper shade because there's these nice transitional shades all up in this palette. So that's what we're gonna be using. And I'm sorry because I probably could remember which shades were from what palette exactly, but I'll just link both of the palettes that um, are in this down below and Highly recommend, if you haven't tried Natasha Nona Shadows, you should get the five pan camel palette. Absolutely, it is beautiful. It's so pretty, I freaking love it. If you're a simple brown girl like me and you like to wear brown on your eyes, it's the one, it's the one. So I'm gonna start out with a shade. Well, first I'm gonna go in with this um, skin toned shade here in the top row to just go over my whole lid before we get into it really. So I'm gonna go into that skin tone shade on a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put this all over. Alrighty. And that shade will just give us a really nice base to uh, blend all over with. It's gonna be great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the, the edges of the concealer over my little mountain here before it dries down completely and I can't move it. Now you can still see it sticking up, which we'll fix that when I put bronzer and stuff on, but um, it's definitely a lot more covered. And mainly the main thing is that the redness is covered, so it's not as obvious. So now I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And this is definitely from the Camel palette. Okay, I'm gonna go into that shade on the same big fluffy brush and just a very light amount starting in my crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller fluffy um, brush 
fluffy blending brush that's a little bit more densely packed. And I'm gonna go in with um, this yellow right here in the middle, this mustard shade. It is one of my favorite shades of all time. It's um, definitely from the uh, Bebe palette. I'm gonna go back in with the uh, first brush, not adding any product to it, but I am just gonna blend out the edges. I'm very happy with where that's at. Now I'm gonna go in with another small, even smaller, even more densely packed fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into this shade right here in the top corner, definitely from the Camel palette. And I'm gonna take this, focus it on this corner here to just start that process of deepening it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the previous brush and go back into the yellow mustard shade and add just a bit more yellow in the crease. I just wanna make sure that that is like really visible. Now, that's all I'm gonna use from this palette because I'm gonna use the uh, deep matte shade in this quad. I'm gonna go in with a teensy, teensy fluffy blending brush because Mario's shadows are quite pigmented and I don't want it to be too much. I'm just gonna start this on my outer V again and taking it along the lash line there. So I'm happy with where that's at. I'm gonna go ahead and go in to the olive on my finger. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna start out by using my finger and using... I... <laughs> I just touched my eyelid with that. That's insane. These are so metallic. This looks like I'm putting it on like with a wet brush already. You guys, look at that. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Okay. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. I'm gonna take the shimmer on the flat brush. I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm gonna wet it. That's funny. And I'm gonna go over my lids with this. I mainly do this every time because it really sets it in um, to where it's not gonna just kind of flake off throughout the day. I get no fallout. <sighs> that is so pretty. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a brown eyeliner. This one is um, from Persona. It's called their 24 hour waterproof eye pencil. So it is last, it's gonna last really well. Okay, I just did a line on my lash line starting from like the halfway point outwards and just made it a little thicker on the outer corners to lift my eye a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and do some concealer. Um, well, let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna throw my brow gel in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my tinted brow gel while we're here. It's just, I'm gonna be using Hourglass for my brows today. I'm gonna be using their tinted brow gel and their Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. So they have a bigger pencil for your eye, for your eyebrows as well, but this was the, this, the small one. So I'm just using the gel in the shade Light Brown. This is one of my favorite tinted eyebrow gels. Also, it's a really nice shade for my brows. And I always fill in my eyebrows using a tinted brow gel first um, so that I don't go overboard with the pencil and it gives it a lot, a much more natural look than it would if I went in with a pencil first and went ham with the pencil filling in every spot when this tints my brow hairs so that I can see exactly where I need to go in. Now, while that dries, I will go in with concealer. So I'm gonna start out by using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Just do a little dabs under my eye. Just like that. And especially with my inner corner right here, I do like to blend it with my finger so that I can be a bit more precise. I can get it right in there and not take it too far and get it into my my um, eyeshadow. Okay, I just blend that out with my fingers first. Then I'm gonna go with my concealer. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. This is the shade 4.5. Really like this concealer. And now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend this out. All right, now I'm gonna start on uh, my mascara, as you guys know, I like to build it up in layers. So I just go in with one layer at a time, let it dry a little bit, and then go in with another one so that it builds a little bit better. That's just what works for me and my crappy eyelashes. So I'm gonna go with my little eyelash curler. Okay, and I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara today. One of my favorite mascaras of all time. Let me go ahead and um, finish up the uh, eyebrows. Let's do that, huh? So I'm gonna go in with, um, as I said, the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. Um, this is the shade Medium. 
So I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna put this got to, wait a minute, got to be glued styling spiking gel. I was reading that from the screen because I can't remember all the names that it has on it. Now, I don't remember if I've talked about this on my channel, if I've talked about the um, spiking gel for my brows here, but um, you can pick this up pretty much anywhere, Walmart, drugstores, CVS, literally like any grocery store, drugstore kind of a thing has this and I just got the travel size, which is more than enough. I just use that to spike up my brows. And now I'm gonna use a Q-tip, a clean one, to shape them before this dries down because when this dries down, ain't nothing moving it until you wash it off. And this stuff is definitely like the secret sauce to my brows kind of a thing. And then afterwards, since it does kind of remove some of the pencil afterwards, I, when it dries down all the way, I do go um, into my brows with the pencil just to fill in those areas. But yeah, that's my brows. So now I'm gonna set my under eyes before I go into eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Veil setting powder. <laughs> Almost dropped that. I'm just taking what's in the cap, swirling my brush in really well, really working it into the bristles of my brush. I'm just gonna set that under eye and a little bit of my nose. And important, I'm gonna set my mountain over here so that it doesn't move. And I'm actually gonna press it in pretty good. So I'm gonna take my little puff and put some powder on it, press the powder into the puff here, and I'm just gonna roll that and press it on to my zit to mattify it so that it's not shiny. And honestly, you guys, my look today is gonna to be quite glowy, so that's why I'm setting a bit so that we don't go overboard with the glow. That's the great thing about this powder particularly is that it doesn't ever take away the glow of my skin. You can still see my skin still looks very radiant and healthy and glowy, but I've set it with a light layer of powder. That's the powder. So I'm gonna go onto my lower lash line with the same shades that I did before. I'm gonna start out with this shade, add a little bit of a yellow, um, and maybe that third shade, and then definitely go into the uh, matte shade here. I'm gonna start out with a fluffy pinched brush, going into that first brown shade that we did. Start blending that out on my lower lash line and taking it pretty far down since it is such a light shade that we get a nice smoked out lower lash line. All right, going in with the yellow on just a pencil brush. Yeah, I'm happy with where that's at. I'm gonna go in with a very precise brush into that mat that's in the quad. And I'm gonna take that along the lower lash line. That is the lower lash line. I am gonna put some mascara down there. I'm taking my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. It's just a really teeny tiny little precise wand. I'm gonna go in with another layer of mascara on top. Okay, that's mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my brows a bit further. Last thing on the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the uh, champagne shade here on the quad on a little pencil brush, and um, I'm gonna take that in my inner corners just to brighten them up a little bit. So that is everything for the eyes, y'all. I have the Dawson's Creek theme song stuck in my head. It's really getting on my nerves. Okay, let's get on with this makeup, huh? I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. The bronze I'm gonna be using is the Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is the shade Macchiato. I have two and three, so I have Butter Biscuit and Macchiato. Macchiato is deeper of the two. I'm gonna be using that today. What a gorgeous, gorgeous cream bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty brush with my Fenty Cream Bronzer. And I'm gonna bronze up my face. All right, my whole face has been bronzed. Mm. For highlighter and blush, I'm gonna be using this Kosas Duo, wow, that's dirty, in Tropic Equinox. These are some really pretty cream products. I love these Kosas Duos. They also have them in powder as well, I believe. I'm gonna go in with the highlight first with my finger, yeah, 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 yeah. No, on a little sponge. I'm gonna use this, look at this. Here's my beauty blender, here's this tiny sponge. Isn't it cute? Little buddies. Um, it's from Real Techniques. I already have this on my finger, so I'm gonna dab it onto my face to just get that product off my finger. But it's so perfect for cream highlight and for cream blush too. I probably will use it for both. But I 
Love this cute little sponge. Look at it just blending in my little highlight. With the same sponge, I'm gonna go into the blush. I got some on my finger, so I'm just gonna. And this is literally one of my favorite blushes that I own, for sure. The color for me is just like, it's perfect. Um, Maybe I should just run my powder brush over my nose kind of area and there on the sides of my cheeks. I feel like I definitely should, cause it's a lot. I don't want all the shine down cause you guys know how I feel about that glow, but I just wanted a little bit of it taken down. Yeah, just so it's not sticky. <sighs> Last thing, I'm gonna go in with lips. So for lips today, I'm gonna use two things. So I'm gonna use this Patrick Ta lip liner in Oh She's Single, and then I'm gonna use one of my favorite products I've discovered this year. Not discovered, because it just came out like a month or two ago. This is from Victoria Beckham. These are her posh lipsticks in her beautiful, beautiful packaging. And this is the shade Spice. Like, like posh spice. Anyway, these are a gorgeous textured lipstick. They're very, they're like a, a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip balm. So I'm first gonna go in with this Patrick Ta lip liner. It's a little bit deeper of a brown cause I kinda just want that deeper brownie lip. Cause y'all know I'm about that green eyes, brown lip life, especially for the fall. So I'm gonna line my lips and get really concentrated. <laughs> so this is a very, very warm brown lip liner, but I like it and I'm gonna go in with Spice. Look how balmy it looks like. It's a very nice warm nude. So that's the lipstick. Let me um, fix my hair and then we'll do the outro. All right, everybody. Well, that is everything for me today. I have slicked back my ponytail. Whew, she's shiny. I did use the styling spiking glue. It's so multifunctional for my slick ponies. I should have put like some earrings in or something, but. I didn't feel like getting up again, so. That is everything for me today, you guys. Um, if you have made it to this point in the video and you still haven't subscribed to me yet, I don't understand. You should definitely be subscribed to me by this point because this is probably a long video. What is with my hands? I don't know what's wrong with me. And I will say, I do feel a bit like a Spice Girl with my Spice Posh lipstick. Man, I'm really shiny. So obviously if you've got a long day ahead of you, if it's gonna be a long day of eating food, you wanna make sure it's gonna last. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter. Coat her up. Set her down. Okay, I swear that's it, I promise. That's it, that's it, I'm done, I promise, I'm done. I'll stop. I'm really into the green eyes. That was super fun. I'm definitely gonna wear this color on Thanksgiving and I'm excited about it because I love it. I love the olive. I love the way this look turned out. Let me know what you guys are thinking as far as how glam are you gonna go for Thanksgiving? I mean, are you gonna go full like all the way, full coverage, glitter, beat, or are you wearing sweatpants? Because I'm gonna be wearing this sweater, but nobody said I, did, I couldn't wear leggings with it. That is actually everything for me today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure that you check out some of my other videos. If you haven't seen those yet, you should check them out. See what's going on on my channel. We're having a good time here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <coughs> saliva.